Hey guys, we're Carpers and welcome back to my little grandma. Old War. Last stuff I picked up wins in the league over Chelsea and Crystal Palace. In today's episode, I have a, the first leg of the Europa League against Olympic Marseille, who I'll get back to in just a second. But and the second game will be my quarterfinal in the FA Cup. Where I will be playing Sunday. But let's focus on Marseille, shall we? He, he, because this is sitting there thinking, why is this ironic? Well, as you guys know, I do secondary career modes and, and I he picks certain leagues. He's, I've been doing the friend league for the past two, three FIFAs. And the French team that has been picked for this year's. Secondary French career mode is, of course, Marseille. Yeah, I'm playing. I think this is the first time I've ever come up against a, a up and coming career mode. Of course, currently I'm in. Germany with British and Muslim Club. Of course, I will make my way to France eventually with Marseille. But that's not going to stop me from being them to the. Hey, hey, their defense has to do that. <laughs> they have a very good defense. It's normal. It should be the F1 game. Now, of course, the next episode will have the second leg, depending on what the scoreline is in the first leg. Because if I win by a comfortable margin, say 4 0, say if I won by 4 0, I mean. What are the chances I'm going to win? Yeah, I mean, I just did take the lead, but I mean, the chances of me winning 4-0 are actually really slim. So, if I did win by 4-0, I think I would say screw it and actually just sim the second leg because I would be away and then I would even get away goals. So, if I win by a comfortable margin... I could sim the, the second leg, and you'll see two league matches in the next episode, which would be Everton and Spurs, unless it's my progression in the FA Cup and the Europa League affect that schedule, well, which it probably would, to be honest. I mean, although I have to progress to actually... For that schedule to include the next round of the Europa League and, of course, the semis of the, the FA Cup. So, well, go into a goal scoring mode. Come on now. The tackle Ooh, from that center back. Correa buries it in the corner. A beautiful oh, 2 0. Oh. Oh. The price of a mission, babe. Boys and girls. Oh. Worth it. Oh, Correa and Kalu, who is a rig up. I bet he might have fucked up. Ah, oh, they did a good enough job to prevent the goal. Timmons. And they get away before Benteke can knock it into the net. 
cheeky bastards. Giggly-o. Come on now. Damn it. Typical. Oh, well, of course I messed up. Right near the touchline, giving them a throw. Your last interesting name. Go, Benteke, go. Bob, a wreck kick? No? Oh, Correa makes it three. Bastard in off the bar. Oh, three nil. And Mandanda is not a happy he man. Boom. I should consider myself very lucky that... <laughs> He managed to get that in because that could have easily hit the ball and come back out. Although, I would have been right there, so probably could have still knocked it in in a mere 3 0 anyway. He only ran off because it went in. I know I said I'd, if I got a, th a big win and I'd sim the second I, think, I didn't actually think I'd get a big win. Oh wow. Oh, a mistake. Benteke. Ooh. Give it in. Christian, you can only celebrate when you score. You look crazy if you didn't. A yellow card. What kind of PS is that? Let's look at this again. Let's just look at this again. Aha. Uh -huh. Right. That. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Let's go with that. Was actually a yellow card because it wasn't. You know, dear man's. Correa completes his hat trick. It's a day he'll never forget. He's not even bothered. He's like, yeah, yeah. Just doing my job, man. Just doing my job. Tap it. <laughs> Pretty easy stuff. All right. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and a bad touch. Seriously, they've had a few of those. There's the uh, information that I will be playing Sunderland at the Stadium of Light for my next game. 
tackle with somebody else in case the referee decides. Yeah, see? If I tackled with Lori, he might be like, yeah, I've given you enough chances. Goodbye. Penalty. Oh, sure, but a similar er, clash earlier between Elori and one of Marseille's players, that was a yellow card. Demands, demands again. Demands gets no luck. Mindy cuts it out. Frick. Bruh. Come on, oh, straight at Mandanda. He's like, thank you very much. Come on, Jordan. Come on. As it is, I am actually going to send that second leg. I may even do it live, just so you guys can actually see how the second leg goes. And it looks like that is going to be the case. So really, you're going to see three games in this match, but one of them will be sent. Is Correa going to get the ball? Not sure how the referee got it that quickly. Yeah, well done, Nanyel. Commando got 9.7. Very well done. Are Barcelona just touring London or something? Because they had West Ham in the last round and now they have Spurs. <laughs> Lazy. Oh, for fuck's sake, Gareth. Fine. I'm gonna give Korea uh, some of my Navas and Firmino. Allen and Firmino are gonna play. Some of my other players are gonna get a break. Ings is gonna play instead of Benteke. Why not? Chan can no longer play left mid, so I can't play him instead of left set I even know I would like to. So. Markovic will get that spot instead. Why not? And this will help get. Hmm. Will help Flanagan. A game against Sunland might help get Flanagan a move. Move away. So, uh, yeah. 
go, the team is ready. I'm playing Gareth Bale against my wishes because I don't want to play him. But he has to play and I would prefer not to get him a message saying, Oh, why didn't you play me? Because hey, those messages are still in the game, EA. I asked you to take those out. You didn't fucking listen, you pricks. Oh look, Bogdan is playing. Yeah, that's how much I think of you, Bogdan. Fuck you. Careful, Bogdan, you don't want to be my hill. Seriously, never gonna let that go. Oh, that was incredibly he mad and incredibly bad. Anyway, hold your horses there, Fletcher. Yeah, no. Foul there by Van Alt. He gets the free kick. Even though I had the ball. So apparently, I. Even though my player had the ball, he was like, hmm, let's foul the opponent, despite me having the ball. He goes, apparently. They're going to the referee. That's what happened. Correa. Firmino. Way. <laughs> Giglio. Markovic! What was that, Lars? Seriously. Hey, this is why he, I don't play you. I mean, you could be in that spot in the first team, but I brought in Bale because I knew he wouldn't be good. Corner. Speaking of Bale, he will take it. Glory! Oh! Well, we've got a, a battle within the war today, haven't we? With the player and he's tracking his old teammate. Yeah, and I think it's always an emotional time when you face your former club, so. Argovic. Come on, Lars. Impress me. Impress me. Show me why you. You should stay with me. You hear? I mean, we have a lot of players in your position. And hell, even for me, I could probably play your position if I wanted to. Just don't. Even 
think I won't and sell you. Yeah, hey, John, you haven't proved yourself when, when in doubt. When I questioned Joe Allen's place, what did Joe Allen do? He stepped up. What has Markovic done for this club lately? He might be a departure in the sun person. You can quote me on that right now. Oh, he's not very impressive. And I think I would... Person, like Mano has just been so good in the second team. Ray is a bit tired, so maybe uh, I'm gonna bring in Origi. Plus, I also need. Cray did only play a couple of days ago. Origi didn't. Here we go, Alan, for the second half of this FA Cup quarterfinal. Well, one or two players I don't think lived up to the billing certainly didn't live up to the hype going into this match. Mino. Oops. Had really the best chance of this match. He was unlucky not to score. Allen. Bell. Come on, Gareth. Show me he was right to listen to you. Or whining, your bitching. Now he's lost his marker. He's gone up to take the throw well up the field to keep the pressure on. Bell. To Allen. Ooh, Joe Allen. See? Even when I'm not asking him to step up, he's trying to step up. Why can't you do that, Mark Vick? Yeah, I didn't think so. You can't, because you're terrible. Alan, Ilori, Ings, Square. Oh, oh, Shay, oh, go! Oh, that was almost a known goal. Oh, that would have been really ironic. A former Manchester United player and an Ironman. Man. For me, oh, boom! I'll take a Brazilian, and cause why not? <laughs> For me, no, and only his second start. Barry, is it? And puts me one nil up. First goal. Oh, that's his first goal for Liverpool. Oh, in. Overall as well, because he hasn't scored for us in real life yet. I say yet, because I mean, if it, if the performance against Bournemouth was to be believed, he could score for a handful full of goals this season, and it wouldn't. I don't think, and that's a bit. Asking too much. Hmm? Rigi. Lee Clatamo. Sorry, Lee Catamo. Oh, he's. Or should be Lee. He, I fuck up. Mole. Oh. Oh, he. He almost fucked up, but he got away with it. Now it's Barkley who may have fucked. Sorry, Buckley. I'm thinking of Ross Barkley. You have ever did. Bail! Gareth, what the fuck was that? Here's Buckley. Back to Adam Bogdan, goal. 
Oh, what the hell for me now? I got the ball from from uh, Bug, and he's forgetting who he plays for now. It's fucking with his head. There's a re going for it. Come on, Bell. Come on. Layer. No! Jones clears it. Bastard. And on one last attack, Katamo Dragovic. Somehow he kept that in, kept that from crossing the line. And there's the full time whistle. A disappointing, if I'm gonna be honest, one nil win over Sunderland, even with the second team in and Bell. I should be beating the Sun and team handsomely. Roberto for me, hold the the highest rate of my players note. Question why he got the goal and he got the own he had a really decent chance. Arsenal had to go have to go to a replay. Chelsea were comfortable winners over Norwich and West Ham and Southampton are keeping us all waiting. Because they're pricks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be listening to you again. And you can be assured of that. And, uh, of course, Flanagan has a downward arrow next to his name because he was terrible. But that's... That's his, uh... That's probably his last game for the game. For the team as well. Him and uh, Markovic. Will both. Will most likely. Not be playing for this team again. And both of them. Are officially. On the transfer list. I think. I already have Flanagan on the list. But Markovic. I, I guess it could be said I didn't give him enough chances, but. I mean, I expect more. I really do. I expect the best. And, you know, he's not giving me the best, so fuck him. I'm actually going to officially list him. Yeah, Flanagan is listed. Markovic, where is he? There he is. At the transfer list. You're terrible, man. You are terrible. Ooh. I 100% and prefer uh, Kamano. And even if I didn't... I'm sure there's plenty. There are plenty of wide players who would love, would jump at a chance to play he for me. I know. I've played with practically every wide player in FIFA history. Yeah, I could get anyone to replace Markovic. I literally mean anyone. Before anyone asks why I'm saving, 
I just want to avoid any injury. The result shouldn't matter. I can't see Marseille beating me 5 0. Even if I'm putting out my second team, I can't see him beating me 5 0. There's no way. They beat me 2 0. But Laurie got injured. It might be okay if his injury isn't, you know, significant. Seven days. That's nothing. I'll, I'll take the loss. I will take the loss. I'm still through. True. Tough luck, Moss. Hey, you might have better luck when I'm your manager. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of this episode. Well, thank you all for what to get the next episode. We'll have the, the games against Everton and Spurs for your viewing convenience. Until then, thanks for watching. I'm